There are a number of different technologies that may have an effect on sort of the physical, how you set up a classroom physically, also the type of interaction that goes on, whether there's more teacher-student interaction or more student-student interaction, and also the dynamics of the classroom. So interactive whiteboards, in this case, it tends to lead to much more teacher-student interaction. So it's teacher, it tends to be teacher-led, despite the fact that it's called an interactive whiteboard, and you might think that the idea is to promote student interaction. It actually tends to be more teacher-led, though this depends on the teacher themselves. Um, so, and also the interactive whiteboard changes the way you want to set up the classroom. So you'll have the interactive whiteboard probably at the front and then maybe you'd have a horseshoe shape, you'd have students coming up to interact with the board. And while I have seen some research that suggests that the interactive whiteboard could make the lesson more dynamic, what you tend to see is because you want to have sort of democracy in the classroom, everyone to take their turn, it actually slows down the classroom because of each student having to get up and, and interact, giving each student this opportunity to interact with the interactive whiteboard. Um, working on PCs individually, that entails a completely different physical setup to the classroom and this entails different types of re um, interaction. Maybe you've just got the student interacting individually with the computer, having personalised, individualised um, instruction. Or maybe you've got two um, students working around a computer, um, talking to each other about maybe a simulation activity that's going on on the computer. Um, this setup of um, what you'll probably have with a uh, sort of computer laboratory is this could actually interfere with interaction if you want interaction with the whole classroom. And something interesting I've seen um, in Canada was, it was actually in a university setting, but was um, what was called a flexible computer laboratory. And you could actually move, in this one, move between computer activities and whole class activities. So the screens were on the desk and you could actually push them down and then you could have interaction, of, well, paper-based interaction or interaction with the teacher. So, th yeah, there's a lot of, the physicality of the classroom really needs to be considered because this affects the interaction, the dynamics of the classroom. Another thing that technology changes about, can change about the classroom, is it can break down the walls of the classroom. Um, so, things like, as sort of previously, radio and TV allowed you to connect outside with the outside community to an extent. Um, but very much indirectly through their media. Now through, um, through the internet um, you can access more authentic texts, um, also through computer mediated communication, so first through email um, you can connect with other classes in the target country, um, so you could have a tandem exchange. Um, so this is asynchronous, but if they were in sort of similar time zones you could actually have synchronous interaction, you could have chat activities, um, also, uh, so that's sort of um, going from the classroom outwards, you can also, it breaks down the walls coming inwards, so learning management systems allow students to, if they can log on from outside um, the school, allow them access to, um, to materials, resources, activities that the teachers have prepared from their home. So here you can access the classroom whilst doing homework activities, for example.